the mallet unit. The results for a mallet unit can be confusing sometimes, so this video is aimed at helping you simply understand what movement to expect to see for a patient that has an ESO or an EXO deviation. Imagine your patient facing you. Direct them to have a look at the OXO target and having the appropriate prescription in place with the filter on top, ask them to have a look at the lines vertically on top and on the bottom of the X. The right eye should see the bottom line, the left eye should see the top line. If there's no deviation or orthophoria, then the patient will report seeing an image like this, where the vertical lines are passing straight through the X. In some cases, there is a deviation, so if the bottom line moves towards the patient's right-hand side and the top line moves towards the patient's left-hand side, this is uncrossed. The deviation in this case is not overlapping with each other, and this is an uncrossed deviation, so this is an ESO deviation. In this case, if the bottom line moves towards the patient's left-hand side and the top line moves towards the patient's right-hand side, it's crossed. The images are overlapping each other and this is a cross deviation or an exo deviation. Have a look at the full list of diagrams and the range of tests in the Binocular Vision Made Simple book.